Welcome to a Natural Resources Conservation Service wetland reserve easement located in Newton County, Indiana. At almost 2,500 acres, this easement is part of the land owned and managed by the Nature Conservancy and is a part of a larger area known as Kankakee Sands. This site was enrolled in a conservation easement in 1998 and it was once the Great Kankakee Marsh a mix of wetlands and prairie. The restoration efforts in the Kankakee are challenging due to the extensive drainage systems and utilities that span the area. Kankakee Sands is, uh, it has the diversity of habitats that range all the way from emergent wetlands, uh, all the way up the hydrologic gradient to, uh, to sand blowouts. And so that allows us to manage for the entire range of biodiversity that was found in Indiana prairies originally. The Nature Conservancy didn't just restore the wetland features, they also brought back the bison. And now calves have been born on site and are drawing a lot of attention. Behind me is our uh, newest part of the restoration. Um, that's our brand new bison herd. Uh, they came to the site in October of 2016. Uh, right now we've got uh, 10 calves uh, mixed into that group. That's probably what we're going to have this year. Uh, over time, uh, we hope uh, to have the herd grow between 55 and 75 animals. Uh, should take us only a couple of years to get there. And uh, we brought them in not for bison uh, conservation, we brought them in for land management purposes. Bison were once native to Indiana but disappeared by 1830. With the help of NRCS, they have been reintroduced to this restored prairie, not only for their majestic beauty but for their ability to create a diverse habitat through disturbance of the vegetation. Bison are here to help us get short grass prairie. And we want that short grass prairie because there's a whole suite of plants and animals that are adapted to living in that uh, community type. And the bison are gonna make it happen for us. The bison's normal behavior of foraging, rooting, and wallowing make them a powerful conservation tool. Prairie grasses can become thick and not allow other forbs and plants to propagate. When the bison disturb thickly vegetated areas through grazing and resting, diverse plants and open spaces needed by other wildlife are created. So we're working with the NRCS currently uh, to create a diversity of uh, habitat types uh, in this thousand acres in bison pasture behind me here. And our goal is to create uh, mixed grass habitat. The NRCS has worked with the Nature Conservancy on what we call a compatible use agreement to um, help manage these uh, acres that they have uh, through uh, their prescribed burns and invasive species controls um, and other activities that help enhance the acreage that they have. We look at how it's going to impact the site and what benefits are going to be on the site. The restoration here at, at Kent Key Sands uh, uh, we might be a little bit more diverse than your typical prairie planting. So um, to date, uh, we've planted over 600 species on site. Our uh, areas that are influenced by, by the roads are, uh, are minimal in this landscape. And so uh, we've got uh, great plant diversity on site. And with that comes all the animals, all the insects and all the animals that, uh, that uh, are still hanging on in Indiana uh, in, these, in the prairie context. As the bison herd grows and people come to see the young calves and enjoy the scenic beauty, they will see the benefit to other species in the area. The diversity of plantings, wetlands and prairie, along with ground disturbance management from the bison, allow for such rare species as upland sandpipers, plains pocket gophers, Henslow sparrows, regal fritterary butterflies, and glass lizards, as well as more common species such as blue joint grass, blazing star, sawtooth sunflower, and eastern meadowlarks. It's one thing to plant the acres, it's another thing to, to manage the acres. And uh, This project's been going for 20 years, and, uh, and we're not going anywhere anytime soon. We're located in, in uh, Newton County, Indiana, Northwest Indiana. We're right along US 41. Um, we're open 365 days a year, 
from 7 o'clock till dusk. Uh, I'd invite everybody to come out and, uh, and see what, uh, what we've built here, see the bison, and, uh, and see some of the other uh, things that we manage out on the site. If you're looking for any more information on any of our other easement programs, visit your local USDA service center.